Hey BBs, it's Plastic and today I'm back to y'all for another video. But today's video, we have a dilemma and I don't really know if I'm going to go anywhere with this video. I don't even know if I'm going to post this video. I don't even know if I'm going to like finish this video. But my Generation 3 Monster High dolls have no place in my collection. Like I feel like, not that they don't have any place in my collection, but like they don't have a spot. You know what I mean? Like they used to be here where the Rainbow High dolls are. But let me, should I move that a little bit closer? Can y'all see it better? Okay. So they used to be here with the Rainbow High dolls. And that was fine, but then, like, well, I like my Rainbow High Dolls to be all together, so it's like, that's the Rainbow High spot, like, that shelf was literally actually made for Rainbow High Dolls in specific. So I'm like, okay, like, they're cute over here, but now I'm like, I don't really play with them or touch them as much, because, like, they're just kind of over there. And I like that shelf to be, like, you know, for, like, the rotation to be, like, oh, like, holiday, you know, whatever is happening at the time, I feel like that's a great space to, like, move things around. So I don't feel like I want them to stay there because, like, these dolls are, like, permanent dolls. Like, they're not really for anything holiday. They're just kind of casual dolls. So I was thinking, like, where else in my room can I put them? Because I don't have room. Like, on my, the, this is Generation 1 dolls. They're not moving anywhere. I have the house, which is too low. Which is the issue is if I want the dolls to, you know, play with them, like, brush their hair and everything, I need them to be, like, eye level because I'm, like, a kid. So I feel like this is too low, right? But then, okay, over here, I have, that's not moving. So I thought maybe this space, if we can, it's not exactly eye level, but it's the only free space in my room, right? Like this. So I moved, I had my Malolola dolls and I had my Astronova. And I don't know how I feel about Astronova not having a home right now. Like, I feel like that would be an issue. Like, where is she gonna go? Because I'd, like, like the gimmick that... Wait, actually, never mind. I figured it out. Astronova can go right over here. Wait. How do I show y'all? Um, I was watching Exodensis earlier today, so I can eat. Move Sunny. Did she go here? Is this, is this weird, though? I wish... I, this is tea that I was drinking literally two seconds ago. It's... I drink green tea, y'all. Um, this is just me rambling for 20 minutes, but, like, do you think she'd be cute here? Or do you think that'd get in the way? Is this... Like, is this working? We're gonna have to see, because now I need to get risers. So, the issue is now, is I want all my Generation 3 dolls to be in one space. Like, my Generation 3 dolls a lot, I think they're really cute. I just don't really know where to put them, because we have that six-pack, we have the budget dolls, and we have the core dolls, right? I have my coffee bean playset's gonna stay where it is, but for the most, let me just get all the dolls that I want to be on display, and let me put them on my bed, and we'll go from there, maybe? I don't know. We're gonna think about it. So they're all on my bed, and I realize that I put too much emphasis on this little itty-bitty space that I have. Like, this space is not gonna hold them all, but maybe we could do the core dolls over there. But my issue with that is, like, they need to all have their pets, right? Like, they should all have their pets with them. Let's just see how it goes. Yeah, let's see how that goes. So besides just like functionality, like this is not gonna work for me. This looks horrid. Um, no offense, but, like, it wouldn't look, okay, let me show you guys a better view. Like, it doesn't look horrible. Like, it looks cute. I like the rose and, like, all the colors that go into it. But besides that, you can't even, like, like, these dolls are just kind of sitting. Not all of my dolls, like, Generation 3 dolls are even, like, standing. This is, like, my restyles, my Torlai. Um, they're not even, like, on, or the pet, the pets and the accessories aren't even, um, like, have any space for anything. So I don't know. I don't want to, like, remove my real drama display because I literally just put that up, like, a day ago. But I also have no idea where else I would put my real drama dolls with their boxes. Mm, but I don't think I'm liking this. Do I go back and rearrange the Rainbow High display, even though that's going to kill me? Or do I, um... Let me think about this. Wait, I just realized we also have the budget dolls. And the Creepover dolls. And the Skultimate Series dolls that are coming out next year. So I'm really quickly just going to take an intermission from the whole real drama Monster High G3 kind of debacle. And I'm going to maybe rearrange this shelf because um, holiday's kind of over. I'm also going to remove my Christmas tree from the house. 
maybe this will help me because I don't know join me I'm gonna put the holiday dolls back though maybe I'll move some more rainbow high dolls up there so it'll be like rainbow high over here it can move beep, 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 up there who knows let's try it Um, you know how I said in the beginning, I was like, oh, I like all my rainbow high dolls together. I do, but I want my monster high dolls over here again. Um, I think I just decided that, like, that's the only place that they can really fit for right now. Um, I know it's Valentine's Day in the upcoming month, but, um, oh, I never took my Christmas tree down, actually. Um, but, um, yeah, well, this is Valentine's Day enough, right? I don't want to put the costume ball dolls, like, away or, like, put them not on rotation because these are, like, the best Rainbow High costume, whatever, Shadow High dolls. Like, these are the best ones in my collection. So, I don't know how else to put them. I did put the Royal... Oh, wait. Let me show you guys. I put the Royal... Th no, oh, man. They're a mess. They're not posed yet. They don't have their microphones. But I put the, the Divas up here because, like, they're very, like, cute colors. Like, I feel like they kind of fit, like, a Valentine's Day theme and I have... Sabrina's girlfriend Delilah. I moved Shadow Band or the Shadow High ones in the corner because I feel like they're they're you know their neon colors can kind of you know make that exciting. Um, I have some more of my basic dolls, I guess not my basic ones, but you know the series ones or rock bands or whatever. I cannot move these dolls. Like my Shadow High dolls, I put some of them up there. Like Luna's back there now, but I love my Shadow High dolls. And then I have the Royal Three because these need to, these also need to be on like for, like rotation every single time. So I'm gonna try to move. As many monster head here as possible. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go, but <laughs> let's see. I didn't do anything with these dolls. Like they're just gonna stay there for like until like springtime. I don't know. And the dolls are dolling. I have most of my Generation 3 dolls up here. Obviously, my doubles are still at the cafeteria or the coffin bean. But right here, we have um, the Creepover dolls. So fun, so silly. We have my Fear the Young Draculaura hiding back here. Core dollies. I do have some of my um, Resiled Cleo and Cheerleading Torlai back there. But the cute ones, the core dolls are all up front. Their pets are just kind of here because like, I had to sit dolls down to make sure everyone was like seen. So I don't really mind this as long as the pets are on the shelf. Um, I'm happy. Deuces, Perseus, I don't know where he is. I think he's still in the cupboard, but um, there's Cleo and I love them. And then I have more of my fear leading dolls. Um, so beyond cutesy. And I do have a couple other resile dolls just off to my kind of tr uh, table thing. Um, so it, it all works out, you know, it's fine. And right now we're just moving around the Christmas tree, finally. I didn't really record a clip for that, but that's what we're doing. We're just gonna make it into something new. This took a while, so just like kind of sit back and enjoy me being an idiot. Bye. So we are here, we have the Monster High Diner all set up again. Took a long time coming, as you probably said, heard in the voiceover. There are going to be no Bratz dolls in this display. Sorry, Megan. Um, but what Monster High doll should I use? Should I use, like, one of each? Like, I'm going to use, like, the core characters, but I have 
Dracula and Claudine already here from different lines. Should I just bring out some of my favorite dolls from different lines to put on display? Or should I bring out, like, the Picture Day dolls? But I don't have everyone in Picture Day, so, like, that's kind of the issue. Um, I don't want to bring out Scaris, because I have enough Scaris dolls, like, the core ones. But I just, I feel like Scaris was up here for, like, years. So I feel like I should just, like, give Scaris a little a break. Um, I might just do that. I might just take dolls that I like and just kind of put them over here. Lots of, maybe my whole, all my picture day dolls and like some random ones. Let's, let's do that. And the final display is a bunch of dolls. I have some coffin bean, Claudine, who's supposed to be on the job, but she's hanging out with her girlfriend, Venus. Um, I know how, you know how I said like I didn't want any Scaris dolls? Um, I had to bring Cleo down because all the Cleo dolls in my collection are very like themed. Like I have Dead Tired, Skull Shores, Honka Tor, Ghoul's Rule, like my collection for Cleo isn't too, too big. So, and this is, like, the cutesiest one. Like, I love her shoes. So, she's here. Picture Day Operetta, Homemade Frankie. We've seen, um, Diner Draculaura. Picture Day, um, Gulia, uh, not Gulia. Picture Day, um, Spectra and Abby are chatting it up back there. We have Dead, or not Dead Tired, uh, Homic, I guess. Dead Fat, Dead, Physical Dead Education Gulia, New Scare Master Caddy, and Laguna. And this display was so fun. It doesn't, like, look the best or anything. It's very cluttered. But I honestly love just seeing my Monster High dolls more often than I do. Um, Monster High is, like, my favorite brand ever. But I feel like I have seasons with my dolls. Like, my season for Brat should be, like, January. And usually Monster High get into them really heavy in, like, summer and, you know, fall time. So it's really cool to, you know, actually, like, see them more often. Because I feel like I just see them on my shelf. I'm like, okay. But seeing them, like, here is really fun. Even though they do look like a cluttered mess. But I think that kind of wraps up what I really wanted to do today. My Generation 3 dolls have a display and purpose. And I took down my Christmas stuff. And I... Made my room a mess, and there's risers over there, there's dolls that I didn't use over there, there's Bratz dolls from the last display, and pajamas still, so once I get them all organized, then my room will be really cutesy and fun. Um, it's kind of unfortunate, though, because I did just film a room tour today, um, earlier in the day, and this is, like, my late night, it's, like, 9 o'clock at night, and I'm getting finished this. So, um, yeah, I guess, this is a, kind of, like, a rotation update. Um, I'll probably have a Valentine's Day one in a month right? February soon. I have no idea who I'm gonna put on for Valentine's Day, but, you know, fun room tour doll stuff. I love doing this, and um, I hope someone watched it and enjoyed it, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching out throughout this video. It was so much fun hanging out with you guys and moving my displays around, and I love you guys all so very much, though. Please have a great night, and stay safe, and I love you guys, and I cannot wait to see you on the next one. Love you. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.